Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We've got some really exciting stuff. We've got the Linksys stuff coming now. So we've got Linksys access points. Uh, we're going to talk about um, what we're going to be using it for. My kids have a house which we've, we've wired up with TP-Link's wireless pro products. It's been okay so far. Um, so we're going to up, do an upgrade on using this kit um, to really, because they're going to test this. They'll know if it's laggy, whether it's good at video streaming, whether it's good at file sharing, because they do tons and tons of stuff on, on the network. That they're always doing something. As soon as they get home from school, they're, they're literally online until they go to bed. And at weekends, and then obviously now we've got, we've got the Easter holiday period, two weeks off, they'll be mega hitting the network. Lots, um, so far, I don't get any issues. Sometimes I, get, I do get them saying it's a bit laggy today or it's a bit slow today. But um, we'll just see whether the Linksys kits makes an improvement on, on that side. These are business solutions though, so don't get me wrong, this is not something you would store at home generally because it's, they're expensive. These are hun about 186 pounds roughly from Amazon. So not, they're not a cheap product, but TP-Links are, they're about 30 to 60 quid to buy. So I would, if you're a home installer, I'll go for the TP-Link stuff. But if you've got money to burn, you're quite rich, then you can have these installed. Uh, very much the way I think things, is the more money you spend, the better quality product you get. Um, the, the cheaper you buy, they'll see, the, well, you expect cheap, you get shit, basically. That's how I, how I see things. So we'll see if there's actually any improvement um, once you get these installed. So we're going to do some videos on showing these off, um, how easy the, to do to set up, how easy to configure as well. We also look behind what other stuff these, what other features these have as well. Um, we're going to treat the house, the, the, my kid's house, as Office One. The shed is Office 2 and my flat is Office 3 because one of these will be installed here. So we can actually show and demo their new cloud management software um, for these because you can actually con configure these remotely through a web browser. And you don't need to run any like server software locally to allow, to allow you access to these. So I think these talk directly to the cloud uh, software. They log it directly in themselves. So that's great from an IT point of view. If you've got multiple sites and clients you support, get these installed across all their sites. Then that way you can see and manage all their wireless network and solutions uh, and things like that with it. I think these come with multiple SSIDs as well, so you can probably set up diff all sorts of scenarios on this. But we'll, we're going to have a real detailed look on these a bit later on another video itself. For the moment, this is the box you get. It's a very light, a very heavy type of bit of kit, so it is quality in your hands. It's As I said, it comes with a power supply, but if you're a business, you won't need a power supply because you'll need to get a PoE switch much more easy that way. So rather than trying to run two cables to access points, especially if it's mounted on the ceiling, it makes it more harder to get power to it, then you will run on PoE itself. So it does have a LAN port, it does have a PO, PoE port and a, a normal power port itself. You get documentations on CD as well as printed, and you get your drill template for installing your brackets. Straightforward nice and easy on that side there. As I said before, we're going to do some videos on the configuration, setting up how the cloud app management software works. And the good thing is actually whether that actually works over a normal Internet Explorer or whether it actually will be compatible with Mac, Safari or Google Chrome. So we'll be able to see all that as well and let you guys know. So again, it's going to be interesting to see how these perform. So far for the look of it, quality looks good. So the first one's going to be installed here. <laughs> And then um, over the weekend, we'll get these rolled out and get these configured and set up and start testing them. Well, my kids will start testing them. They will test the shit out of this. So if, if they know it's a good product, we'll know when they phone me up and say, it's crap, or they're going to say, well, they're going to say nothing. If they say nothing, it means they're happy. It means the speed's up, you know, and they're doing well. Because I mean, sometimes I get calls from them saying, the internet's a bit slow, Dad, today. What, what stuff's going on? So I have to go down there and check it. But these for this... I don't have to go down there. I can remotely manage them. So, brilliant. So stay tuned. If you like this video, guys, thumbs up. If you like this video, thumbs down. And I will see you on the next video. Remember, hit that subscribe button. One side of it, anyway. <laughs> and uh, next video will be actually setting these one up, uh, showing the, the configuration side. So stay tuned for that. And we've also got much more stuff coming from Linksys. It's sent lots of different product switches as well. I've got a business switch to install here. I've got a business switch to install at the... Uh, man cave as well to literally um, speed up file sharing as well more details coming very soon on that one as well so thanks very guys for watching and thanks for all the subscribers and see you on the next video cheers